Welcome back to another episode of the Outhouse Outdoors. For this one, we are going to be fishing a tournament called Poles and Holes back in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Um, so I fished this tournament a few years now and I've taken first once, third another time and haven't got fished the other time. So I've done a little bit better the past three years. That's when I've won them all. So I know a thing or two now about it, but um, right now I'm in Bemidji driving back from college. But before I go back home, I am going to go grab some shiners because not always at home do we have shiners because for some reason we're usually around here more often. But we're at Northwoods Bait and Tackle here at Bemidji. So shout out to them and I get some shiners and get on the road. Now, I will insert the clip of me hustling to our spot to get these holes right here. <sighs> okay, here we go. Focus, speed. I am speed. One winner, 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Breakfast? Maybe I should have had breakfast. A little brekkie could be good for me. No, 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 stay focused. Speed. I'm faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. Hey, lightning, you ready? Where are you going? You're lost. Dollar Tree headset, so free. Freer than a public restroom. You're literally dog water. ZOPR. Earning check. Oh, wait, you have none? Okay, now after you saw that, um, these are the holes we got. We got three and then another three. But we have, I have a two hole ticket, my dad's got a two hole ticket, my mom's got a ticket. Oh shoot, I stepped in a hole. Um, my mom's got one hole ticket, my brother has one hole ticket, so we have six holes. And um, the history of this tournament is um, I fished this for probably like six years now. And three years ago, I took first. Um, last year I took third, so I got a couple of wins under my belt, or top three finishes, but, um, there's going to be probably close to 500 people or more in this tournament, so it's just a basic tournament, biggest fish, but I'll have the GoPro on in case we catch anything. It's usually not catch a lot, it's usually you catch one pike and hope you win, but, um, other than that, I'll show you what we're using in a bit, my, I'll put my hands warm up. Hands are cold holding this phone, but it's a beautiful day out. They got the kites flying. I'll show you in a second when I flip the phone around, but I'll let you know how it goes. See, they got all the kites flying. I'll show you at the end how many they get out, but it's probably the majority. But they're really pretty, and I mean, it's just a cool event out here. It's in Detroit Lakes, right on the lake next to all, all the restaurants and stuff downtown, but. I mean, as you can see, lots of people, and we're still two hours up from the tournament starting. There is, I'll show you the line of people, but um, really beautiful day, and we'll see how it goes. We're going to be doing some interviews here. 
please state your name and occupation. Brody Elliott, uh, part-time dancer, full-time fisherman. <laughs> That's good. You know, the dance comes like it comes in and helps your fishing. You know, You're trying to jiggle that lure, that helps. It, it brings in the fish. So here are the poles and holes fishing tournament. And please tell me what experience do you have fishing this tournament? Well, I've been doing this for many years. And I can proudly say I've never caught a fish. So we're doing good. So maybe this year's the year. What kind of secrets do you have for fishing this tournament? Oh it's all the wrist, you know, running them tip ups is pretty hard, so you just gotta have it all in the wrist, but sometimes you gotta change hands even. Yeah, that's good. I mean use both hands, you know your right hand might be better. But the left hand can do just as well. Yeah. So, you know, you might want to alternate if it gets cold too. Um, it's a little windy today, that might affect the tip ups. But other than that, it could go good. Um, I think, what else do we got to cover? Um, what kind of bait are you using today? Oh, we're going straight up with Big Daddy Shiners. Big, you know, that might be the ticket today. And what kind of fish are you running? Well, we got one of each. We got the straight red hook and we got the trouble oh, yeah. hook on the other one. Diversity. Diversity is what matters. You know, every pike is a little different. They might be feeling the red hook one day and the trouble hook the other. Um, what do you hope to accomplish in the future in your life? Catching a fish in this area. That's a good goal. Oh, anything else you'd like to tell the fans? Subscribe to Outhouse Outdoor. Get in or win that underwear giveaway. <laughs> the underwear. Yeah, we were doing a 100 subscriber underwear giveaway. I will be giving away my lucky pair of underwear. They might have some stains on them, but I'll tell you, they're lucky. So please comment down below if you want my underwear, and I will be giving that away. Um, would you like to shout out any businesses? Ah, uh, we gotta make a shout out to Dairy Queen. They're the one that sponsored my ticket today. So, shout out to them. Do you know of any family businesses you want to shout out? Ah, uh, maybe a lawn care company or two. Uh, are you ready lawn care? They're okay. <laughs> are you ready lawn care? They're okay. So, please, if you want your lawn done in the DL area, hit up Are You Ready Lawn Care? They're okay. <laughs> okay, any closing statements? No. Well, thank you very much. God, it's cold out here. <laughs> Matt Morrison, son of one of our club members, available now to sing and present for you our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly and the rocket went well, the boats bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Excellent job. Fishing time! What time is it? Fishing time! Let's fish it up! Yeah! What? What was the last thing? Let's fish it up. <laughs> house on three! One, two, three. three. House! Well, we can cut all of Bobber set up. My little brother already caught one, which is good, so he'll be on the leaderboard. Happy for him. I've won a couple times, so maybe it's his turn to win. But we got a six rods or line down, and hopefully the catcher got the GoPro on. I don't know if we got the video of him catching it. I was putting down mine, and it was right away that he caught it, so we will see. <laughs> oh, it's going. Yeah. Cheese sauce rice. 
I, I don't think it, I don't know. That's a bass Use. or a pike. Oh, Get him! You're on the board! Okay, wait, wait, we gotta make sure it's... Oh, yeah. nice. Um, go nice. grab the measuring tape. Remember, you also drank some. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, we're good. Where's the bucket? What? Oh no. You got them? Yeah. That's a nice one. Oh no! What was it? It was a pike. How big? Decent. Like leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I got it on GoPro. <laughs> it got wrapped around this. Oh, oh no. no. Brody! <laughs> oh, it was a nice one. Be the fish. Be the fish. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into anything. Come to the old top, right? Make it stay alive. It stopped. Yeah, I'm around. Oh, sorry. I, I, I give her. Don't give her too long. I don't think this one. Oh. <laughs> I think this is the one that falls. Did your shark set it off? Probably. You're gonna be an outhouse outdoors missing a bunch of fish. Yeah. I hope you know this. God. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah! 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 I don't think it'll make the No, it could be a pound! Hey! Don't worry you a pound! Give her, bring her up, Brody! You guys say you caught a fish! Get the bucket! Get, get the bucket! Oh my god, whoever you are! It might be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. You will make this. I got the red No, no, no. No, that shows that we were part of the charm of the bucket. So that you can't say never anymore. <laughs> well, we're still all out here fishing. But, um, quick update my dad's on the leaderboard. Micah, my little brother, he. Got knocked off the leaderboard, his was too small. But um, as you saw in the GoPro footage, this man redeemed himself after missing like three fish. <laughs> well, what, um, how much, how big was your pike? 1.18 pounds. What'd you catch it on? Shiner. Wait, what, what kind of jig? It was just on a treble hook. Just treble hook. How do you feel about your performance today? Uh, well, we're batting sub at subpar, but at least we hit one. So. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. All, matters. all you need is one. So he's on the leaderboard. We don't know if he'll stay there. There's um, a sponsored lady. Yep. That's I'm on good. Smart Interior Fishing. <coughs> smart Construction Fishing Team. Roll, roll Tide. Roll Tide. I got him. He's old. Oh, here come the excuses. It's just work. Yep, sure. He's sure he's talking about excuses before he even grabs it. Uh oh. Yeah. She got it. Oh my god. <laughs> it, yeah. It ran right away. Brody. It's perch, Shut up. Could be a pike. I don't think that's perch. Yeah, I can't really be. That's perch. You need to make that less sensitive, maybe. <laughs> I don't think he's a perch. 
I'm in a cut of fish, but I didn't win a frisbee, which will give me a prize. We'll see what I get. One I have, that's what I won. You know, can't complain. A win's a win. My books. We just finished up with the tournament. Um, I didn't catch anything. Brody was on the leaderboard, but got knocked off by 0 .01. Um, he could have caught some more, but he missed a lot of fish. Right now we're pulling back the sled, and uh, my little brother else got knocked off, like I said earlier, but my dad ended up, woo! That's how I roll! He ended up in um, 11th place, so he won something, but we'll see what he picks up, and I'll show you what he won. 10,000 people in the fishing derby. I took 11. Probably like 600. But um, I'll let you know what he got. And, Maybe not top 10 finish like I get, but um, decent, so we'll see. Well, I'm back in Bemidji now, and um, got done with that tournament, and my dad claims his prize, and it was like a $100 pair of gloves and a 13 fishing rod and reel combo, uh, inline reel with uh, their tickle stick rod. So he won a good amount, um, but Brody, of course, got knocked off right before the end, unfortunately, by like not even a tenth of a pound. It was a hundredth of a pound, and um, that's how she goes. But um, yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and subscribe whether you like the video or not, because views are views and subscribers are subscribers. So, um, do that for me and. Next video will come out. This is the like most pike I've ever caught. So I that video will be good. Lots of tip ups, lots of flags, fun stuff. But this is Dan, so out house out. Mm -hmm.